Hello and welcome everyone on the Coded UI training by One Test Solution on topic one. As far as the objective of this topic is concerned, we are going to talk about application lifecycle management in Microsoft platform. In this, we are going to study uh, or going to understand what is Visual Studio Team System, what exactly Coded UI test is, and then TFS and MTM and uh, we'll look uh, the big picture of the integration of all these different components and uh, how to build an a robust end-to-end -end automation solution by utilizing all those integrations going forward in detail uh, we'll understand uh, what are the different things that we can do using tfs and how important is TFS as far as the um, application lifecycle is concerned of a software development process. Then we talk about Microsoft Test Manager and uh, what's its advantage as far as the end-to-end -end test management is concerned. Then we will also talk about the different test frameworks which are available in Visual Studio that is Coded UI Test, Unit Test, Performance Test and uh, as far as the objective of this entire uh, course is concerned coded ui automation we will look at uh, the overview of it what are its prerequisite what it takes to become a coded ui expert and then also we'll talk about the coded ui uh, training orientation how we will move forward with the course so that we will know okay when we are when we can expect what okay so first thing let's talk about team foundation server I'm pretty sure this is not a new thing uh, but let's see what are the different things which are possible in team foundation server first from the development perspective uh, developers write their source code of course they would be checking their solution somewhere right so they use uh, TFS for their source code management then from the project perspective project manager or the scrum master uh, use tfs for generating multiple reports or tracking down their project uh, evaluating the burn down and all those uh, from business perspective uh, business users use tfs to put their requirements in place so that it can be shared to developers and uh, also it can be shared by or it can be used by testers also so business users uh, use the requirement management feature of it uh, then uh, in order to run the test uh, we do a lot of lab management work uh, in order to setting up the configuration and all that uh, that we do as a part of lab management at the same time from the build perspective uh, sometimes build engineer or maybe the development team utilizes tfs for their build management or the release management capabilities uh, now uh, the one more thing I want to mention uh, TFS basically you know covers the entire application uh, lifecycle management and uh, the most benefit of TFS comes as you know because it serves as a backend to the Visual Studio in a Windows platform or it can it is also it can also be used in a non windows platform for example we can use the uh, tfs in eclipse also so let me uh, quickly make a note of few things that we discussed so i will make a little diagram okay so we just talk about team foundation server right so let's say here is our tfs there are few things that tfs will do is the code management code management reporting lab management management and requirement management right and there are a lot more other things uh, that uh, TFS can do <clears throat> now So this is our TFS right now next thing comes is Microsoft test manager MTM this is again something not pretty new from uh, the testing perspective and I'm sure most of the testers are utilizing it 
but from the manual side but in a nutshell Microsoft Test Manager is again a Microsoft Test Management tool which is integrated with Visual Studio uh, Ultimate version, uh, Premium version and Professional version and it and is used for uh, both manual testing as well as the automation testing. As far as the manual testing needs are concerned, uh, manual testers can go and create a test plan, they can design their test case, they can do their test execution. Uh, more is interestingly manual we can also record the actions from the MTM but when it goes to recording actions you know sometimes sometimes uh, not sometimes in fact most of the times we prefer doing an automation testing so for that we utilize coded UI test but this is one of the feature uh, where we can we want to record actions uh, we can take the screenshot we can sometimes record the flow also from MTM also but but usually we don't utilize because for that we prefer to do automation testing using coded UI test then also uh, we can use it for the defect management we can log defects we can follow in fact the full defect life cycle from MTM then uh, we can set up lap machines uh, or inform we can configure multiple environments uh, using configuration management potential of it uh, for example if we want to run our automated test or maybe manual test in multiple environment right in a multi-staging environment we run uh, same test in different different environments so we can actually configure man mtm in order to run our test in a multiple environment so that's a different uh, that's one uh, one more component which is now right now integrated with mtm so let me draw that <clears throat> this is mtm okay first i uh, i'm talking about the different components and then uh, I will integrate and will draw a big picture how we will be utilizing as a part of this course and what exactly we want to achieve as an objective overall objective from this particular course so some of the points that we, we discussed one is it used for both manual and automation testing testing then it can be used for to do the test execution test execution again both manual and automation manual and automation manual test execution straightforward for automation test execution we need to do some sort of configuration then we can do defect we can run entire defect life cycle logging defects you know assigning it to developers uh, or, or maybe business user for re-verification revalidation then closing the defect the entire defect life cycle can be managed from here and then most important um, you know we can use this for the reporting also reporting let's say how many tests been executed what is the pass percentage what is the fail percentage how many defects so we can generate a lot of reports using this tool as well otherwise you know we have to maintain uh, excel sheets and all that doing all those calculation percentage uh, and all that in excel however you know i will prefer if you are using mtm and so why don't we utilize that for a reporting purpose which is again a very good feature that i personally love to use it then next thing comes is your coded UI test right very important everyone every one is interested in knowing more about it coded UI test now coded UI test coded UI test is basically a framework uh, which is available in the dotnet to do an automation testing okay here in this particular framework we will be writing all our automated scripts and everything right scripting we will doing all our scripting here how we will be doing that of course this course is going to to talk about throughout the course we will be talking about it but coded ui test is going to do our scripting perspective now <clears throat> how the entire life cycle is going to flow first of all you know the requirement will be captured in TFS and uh, then using that all those requirement 
developers uh, uh, will be doing their implementation or coding and they will be checking their code in TFS right they will check in their code in TFS let me write it they will do the development and after development is done um, they will do their they will do the checking so source code will be available in TFS after, from the testing perspective uh, sorry not checking it's checking from the development uh, from the testing perspective once we have all the requirement in TFS we will go ahead and start writing our manual test and everything in T in MTM correct so now this particular piece is going to be utilized by testers once that's done then in the MTM itself we will do feasibility analysis let's say all the test has been captured now after that we will be doing feasibility analysis that how many tests can be automated or which cannot be automated right we need to do a feasibility analysis so that particular cycle is also going to be controlled from MTM otherwise what we have to do is we will uh, list down all the test cases in the excel sheet and we will mark there okay whether it can be automated or not right in uh, so that has helped uh, maintaining things in excel sheet uh, we can you do that all all in mtm for example the test which cannot be automated we can say simply not automated and, and things which can be automated we can mark those test cases as as planned so from the project manager perspective or from the leadership perspective they will come to know they will be able to evaluate ROI okay out of 100 test cases we can automate 80, 80 test cases and then they can they can calculate their uh, ROI on, on that behalf once that feasibility is done and captured in MTM then we'll go to coded UI test and we'll, we'll start doing a scripting how we will do scripting that we will see of course in the during the course <clears throat> now let's look at it so this is how and and one more thing i want to mention here once scripting is done okay once scripting is done now we have to do test execution of course automated test execution usually we do the automation test execution we go to visual studio or maybe we go to tfs uh, we run our test from there right but what we will be doing is we will be kicking the test from from MTM so we will see how to run that test from MTM of course manual test is a straightforward thing that uh, anyways I will show but from the auto kicking an automated test from MTM it takes little bit configuration so we will do that configuration and we will run our test from MTM okay so we will be doing execution from MTM only then there is one more thing that comes into picture is running test as a part of build okay how that is going to be addressed running test as a part of build now what does it mean is let's think of a situation okay we usually work from uh, 9 to 6 or maybe 8 to 5, right? Uh, testers also work at the same time, developers also work at the same time. Let's say there was one uh, production issue that came in and developer uh, fixed it and deployed a fix, let's say at uh, 5.30 in the evening or maybe 6.30 in the evening. Now you have to do a regression test. Of course, you have uh, all the tests automated. But would you think, do we really need to wait till next day in the morning for an automation tester to come and run their test not necessarily right so what we can do in this case is as soon as developer checks in the code kicks off a build it there is a uh, you know there is a process or a feature which is called as uh, which is uh, running test as a part of build means is as soon as developer deploys a build or queues a build immediately our automated test 
can kick off so what will happen is once uh, that all the test has been executed the, and, and those tests we have not actually manually kicked off okay Th that will start automatically and in the morning or as soon as the execution is done it will send out an email to the uh, entire team or the stakeholders who are assigned for that engagement and uh, in that report we can mention okay these are the tests that has been passed and these are tests which has been failed if all the tests are failed uh, i'm sorry if all the tests are failed then then the build is good and it can go to the production now just think about it we have not kicked that all the automated test manually uh, it has already been it it started automatically and we sh we should not and from the testing perspective we don't have to wait for de for uh, developer when it is going to deploy his fix so that we can start doing our testing and all that as soon as developers will queue a build immediately our automated test will get started and everybody will see that report in the morning we'll see okay everything looks good let's go to the production so this is this is one of the very important feature that we will be doing again as a part of course how to run our test as a part of build it again takes a uh, little bit uh, configurations uh, which uh, is again directly related with actually you know uh, tfs because this configuration is done in tfs so that's again very important thing so this is how the entire circle uh, or the life cycle is going to be maintained, right? TFS, MTM, coded UI test and running the test as a part of build. So this is our overall objective that uh, we will be learning in this particular course. <clears throat> now let's look at uh, some of the test frameworks which are available as a, in Visual Studio. So I'm going to launch Visual Studio and I will start new project. and uh, i will say one test solution <clears throat> now here you see visual c sharp okay if you click on this visual c sharp you will see there are a lot of these frameworks which are available for development let's say if we have to develop a wpf application uh, sorry uh, windows application then we can use this particular framework we need wpf we can use this we, if we need uh, we need console application then we can use this particular framework so likewise there are a lot of frameworks available for, for development likewise for testing if you click on this test you will see there are three frameworks which are available for testing also Coded UI test is basically a functional automation testing framework which we will be learning in this course in order to automate our functional regression test. <coughs> there is another test framework which is called as unit test. Uh, this particular framework is most of the time uh, utilized by developer to test their piece of code, uh, their procedures, their methods and uh, also they utilize to test their individual logics of, of the code right but not from the functional perspective there is a third framework called as web performance and load test load test project this particular framework is used for performance testing that again uh, is out of scope from this particular course now question comes what exactly a coded ui test is so Coded UI test is basically an extension on the unit testing framework. Now a question comes, can we do whatever we do in coded UI test and unit test? Yes, absolutely. We can do all that because coded UI test is basically derived from unit test only. The advantage of using coded UI test is it has a lot of different, uh, different uh, utilities and uh, which makes uh, a tester to code automated test easily but in unit test we can do all that but it takes a little bit more in-depth knowledge uh, sometimes which becomes complicated for a tester to do that but to answer that to answer whether we can do everything from unit test yes or no yes certainly we can do all that whatever we do in code UI test from unit test also maybe not straightforward we have to use we have to uh, you know uh, write lot more code 
So that's why you know Microsoft build a, a framework that is more fr user friendly and it takes less um, knowledge to build an automated testing. Okay, that's all about the coded UI. Uh, that's all about the test frameworks which are available in Visual Studio. Now, if you go here, uh, we selected here Visual C Sharp and all these things are available in C Sharp language. But at the same time, Visual Studio supports some other languages also. See here, we can uh, code in Visual Basic, Visual C++, F Sharp and all that. Okay. All right, so this is all about the framework. <clears throat> and uh, the the integration of all different components in Visual Studio or in the Microsoft platform. Now, next thing I want to talk about is how we are going to move forward with this course. Okay, so if you look at our syllabus, we have divided our syllabus in four modules. Module number one, uh, we call it prerequisite because here we are going to talk about c sharp programming why it is important is at the end of the day if we talk about hand coding we have to write the code in c sharp so we need to have at least a moderate level of knowledge if we need to write a robust automated test otherwise we will be recording and all that which is not the best way to do an automation testing. So we have included that as a part of our syllabus and the first we will be talking about coded UI, uh, first we will be talking about C sharp fundamentals. And uh, this topic is again very important because in interviews most of the time, uh, you know, I feel uh, 50 to 60 percent people talk about C sharp object oriented programming. So we have included a lot of object oriented uh, concepts here and uh, we will be talking with implementation okay each and every topic uh, that we have populated in the syllabus is going to be with uh, implementation in c sharp and then the next module which comes is hand coding and building an automated test and this is with hand coding there's no recording at all if you look at this course we are covering variety of applications first is we will be talking about the generic uh, how to use a ui test control which is a generic mechanism of creating an any object in any application uh, then we will be working with technology specific controls so technology specific controls always goes with the type of application we will be automating so here in topic 8 you see we are talking about the HTML controls that is web based applications uh, in topic 9 we are talking about WPF based application then Windows based applications so we will be covering varieties of applications as far as this course is concerned then we will be talking about assertions different attributes synchronization uh, recovery scenarios and uh, we will be talking then in top in topic 15 uh, coded uh, data driven test in coded UI because we utilize this framework a lot uh, then in module 3 we will talk about some of the very good features of uh, coded UI uh, what is UI map UI map has a great potential to it we, we, sh we need to know how what is the best way to use it okay uh, since Microsoft has put uh, some recording features of course there would be an advantage to it and uh, we will know what is the best way to use it in case we need to use somewhere so in this we in this module 3 we will talk about that now you must be wondering why we are doing hand coding first and then we are talking about record and playback the reason to that is once we will be very good in c sharp and writing our automated test then we will be able to compare the code which is generated that's the first ex uh, advantage and another advantage that will happen is we will be able to understand the code that is generated by visual studio if we will not study uh, module 1 and module 2 we will not be able to understand this code hundred percent so that's the reason first we build our base uh, we would be very good in hand coding uh, our test in coded UI and then we will be talking about the tool feature and next <clears throat> module 4 uh, we will be talking about the automation framework development along with the end-to-end -end test management so 
in topping 18 we will we will talk what are the different approaches of automation because there are multiple ways we can do a coded ui automation uh, then in topic 19 we will actually set up our framework uh, using one of the approach uh, here uh, we will be working on the result reporting and sending email alerts also that's very important uh, from the test management perspective then in topic 20 uh, we will talk about the object oriented design which i feel that's uh, a very great very good design uh, in order to build a robust framework so how we can do that we will be utilizing some different concepts like page object model and all uh, including oops so again this is going to be very important thing that we need to know if we have to rate ourselves different and then in topic 21 we will be talking again the end to end test management that we have seen initially uh, in this particular course where we where i draw the big picture so we will see that end to end automation development and how to monitor the end to end process in code ui testing there are a few videos that you can watch as a sample also uh, if you don't understand it don't worry about it because we have not uh, gone through the concepts yet but uh, once we will understand c sharp and everything then we will be able to understand that will become very easy okay all right uh, thank you so much and uh, have a great day